Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I am memory planning and this will be for the week of September 21st through the 27th. And for this week, I will be using a fall kit from Paper Muse Crafts. I just got this kit in and I'm so excited to be using it already. I figured this would be a great week to use this kit because the quote here says, I love fall most of all. And I believe Tuesday the 22nd was the first day of fall. So so I just think that works out really perfectly. So really quickly, I'm going to share what's in this kit. As you can see, it is in a light gold foil, which is my favorite foil, and it's so pretty. And here we have the nine full boxes, as well as three quarter boxes here at the bottom. The second page, which is also foiled, has the bottom washi. We've got some foiled headers here, these little sprinkle foil, and then we have a ton of arrows on the side. Um, this third page is also foiled, and we've got the date covers, a bow checklist, a Monday through Sunday box, some habit trackers, these three bow checklists, some layering icons, functional icons, date dots, and then these three bow checklists on the side. And the last page here is not foiled. We've got some large flags and deco pieces. I think those ones are so pretty. We have some, I think these are washi strips of different sizes, some half boxes, flags, and then quarter boxes here on this page. So definitely comes with a ton of boxes, which I love because I do use a lot of boxes in my planning. Although I do notice that she includes a ton of quarter boxes, but not a ton of half boxes. I think there are only six that are included. So um, I definitely will have to just work with a few less than I'm used to, but regardless, I'm super excited to jump right in. It's been a while since I've used a kit from Paper Muse Crafts. So yeah, I'm looking forward to building this. As usual, I'm going to place down my bottom washi first, and then I will continue to create my spread from there. I'm not quite sure when this video is going to go up on my channel, but I just wanted to remind you guys that I have a leftovers giveaway going on in my previous video, and that's going on until Friday. So if you're watching this before Friday, make sure you go and enter that if you're interested in winning any leftover stickers. And for my bottom washi this week, I did have to trim down that second piece of washi on the left-hand side of the page. For some reason, Paper Muse Crafts did not cut this washi to the size of the planner, so I just had to trim it down with with my slice precision cutter. Once I'm done with that, I move to my sidebar. For this week, I decided to cover up the September 2020 at the top, and um, I placed down a foiled September script sticker from Artbox Stickers. And I know the owner, Samantha, has just closed her shop, which is a huge loss for the planner community because her stickers are so gorgeous, but hopefully at some point she might consider reopening. So we'll just have to see. Um, in continuing with my sidebar, I placed down a header and I use the habit tracker to track my working out. That workout script sticker is from Right Brain Paper Co. And then I used a flag with a foiled bow from Fox and Pip to mark my happy moments. And for my dinners, I pulled in this other flag and used the Monday through Sunday box from the kit. I then go ahead and place down all of my date covers, and I actually forgot that this kit came with date dots included, um, but they weren't foiled anyways, and I wanted to pull in some foiled date dots. I found these really pretty heart cutout ones, and I think they're from Paper Blush Bar, um, and I just happened to have the right number of dates that I needed, and so I go ahead and lay them down at the top. I moved back to my sidebar real quick and placed down a meal icon. I believe that one is from Paper Muse Crafts, and then I moved to Monday. I first placed down a foiled header, then I used a deco sticker from the kit with a coffee from our box stickers to mark that I had some coffee on that Monday morning. That Coffee Monday script sticker is in my writing and that is from a shop called Planner Just For You. I then decided to mark a meeting using a flag and this laptop sticker that came with the kit and I love how it has that dainty bow in the center. I think it's so pretty. And then um, I marked something that I did for work that day on a half box. That bow sticker is from Fox and & Pip and I thought that color matched the kit pretty well. I had an IEP meeting that afternoon, and if you're new to my channel or if you're not in the field of education, IEPs are meetings that we hold for students who are in special education, and that gold foiled sticker is from Hazel Sticker. I then placed down a full box underneath, and then at the very bottom, I just wanted to mark a workout that I did that day. I was super motivated to work out this week, so I actually did quite a few workouts, which was great. The foiled shoe sticker is from Paper Muse Crafts, and I layered that on top of a circle icon that came in the kit. 
On Tuesday, I first placed down a full box at the very top. It's actually so hard to place down boxes straight on the recollections because you don't really have like the outlines for each day. So I definitely have to adjust quite a bit. Um, then underneath that full box, I placed down a header and a three bow checklist to mark some things that I did for work that day. I did a lot of testing because we finally started testing students again, which is super exciting because I finally got to work with the kids again. And to mark that, I used this foiled glasses sticker, which I I believe is from the Pretty Pink Co. I stopped by Target after work so I used a quarter box and decided to use this deco sticker that came in the kit. I added a little gold foil bow to the backpack at the top of the day and that's from Chic Chic Designs and then I go ahead and move back down to the bottom and start placing down some boxes. That gold foiled shoe sticker is from Planning Like a Pro and again the workout script is from Right Brain Paper Co. One of my friends was coming over that night and I did a little vacuuming before that because she is allergic to cats and we have a cat. Um, so it just kind of helps to vacuum and sweep and all that. So the gold foiled vacuum sticker is from Hazel Sticker and then the vacuum floors script is again in my writing and it's from Planner Just For You. At the bottom on the half box, I placed down a gold foiled heart from White Deer Stationery to mark that we did a Zoom chat with a group of our friends and I had some space left over in the box. So I pulled in this really cute little corner decorator, gold foiled bow, and I believe that is from Sadie Stickers. That is it for Tuesday, so I go ahead and move on to Wednesday. The first thing I do is place down a foiled header at the very top. Then I used a quarter box and layered a pencil sticker from Samantha May Sticks over a gold foiled um, circle icon that came in the kit to mark a morning meeting that I had on Wednesday. I then had a testing appointment with a student, which I marked using this gold foiled um, notebook sticker, which I think is from Artbox Stickers. And then I decided to place down a bow divider from Samantha May Sticks. I placed down that gorgeous full box with the bicycle. That's definitely one of my favorite boxes. And then I used the remainder of the bottom washi that I had cut off earlier and created a little box from that to mark my IEP meeting that afternoon. Again, the IEP script sticker is from Hazel Sticker. I placed down a half box to mark that I did day nine of my yoga. I was trying to do 30 days of yoga, but decided that I really couldn't do it consecutively. Um, so I decided to just kind of space them out. The gold foiled heart is from Clever Gal Crafts, and then I just did a YouTube binge at the end of the night, so I used a piece of deco from the kit with a gold foiled YouTube sticker, I believe that's from the Pretty Pink Co., and then the YouTube binge sticker is from Planner Just For You. It was a pretty chill night, so that was it for Wednesday. On Thursday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom. I've been having a really hard time covering up those gray headers on the recollection, so I decided to just scooch the full box up a little bit and cover the header, which I felt like that worked out really nicely because I don't really need things to line up perfectly at the bottom of my planner. So for me, it's fine to have that variation. Um, then moving to the top of Thursday, I placed down a quarter box and used a laptop sticker from Magic Prince Co. to mark a morning meeting. Meeting. Then I had another testing appointment, so I decided to use a flag sticker with a piece of deco and another bow from Chic Chic Designs to mark that. I had another IEP meeting that afternoon, and it kind of took me a while to figure out how I wanted to mark it this time, but I decided to use a half box with an arrow sticker and another foiled IEP script from Hazel Sticker. On top of the full box, I placed down a quarter box and used a TV icon from the Pretty Pink Co. to mark that we watched I'm Sorry, and then I started a new show called The Home Edit. I've been following the ladies of The Home Edit, which is an Instagram account for organizing. Um, I followed them for quite a while, so I was very excited that they got their own show. I'm terrible at organizing, so they always give me some great ideas, even though it's really hard for me to put them into motion. Um, but anyways, above that, I used a, I think it's a washi strip, and and that workout time sticker is from Planner Just For You, and the shoe is from Paper Muse Crafts. Before moving to Friday, I decided to switch up the full box that I used because I really, really love this full box with the adorable shirt and that skirt, um, and I wanted it to be kind of in the center of my spread. So I go ahead and place that down and then used the original full box from Thursday on Friday instead. I then used a quarter box with a foiled coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I got a pumpkin cream cold brew that morning, um, which is definitely my favorite fall coffee. If you guys don't know already, I know I've mentioned it quite a few times. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me talk about it. Then underneath that, I pulled in a sticker from the kit to mark something I did for work that day. 
I decided to grab some Del Taco for lunch, which is like my favorite fast food place after In-N-Out. And um, instead of pulling in a taco sticker, I decided to take advantage of more of the deco pieces from the kit. So I used, I think it's like a pancake sticker, which obviously is not what I got at Del Taco, but I just figured it was food. So I would just leave it at that. Um, then on the half box underneath that, I used a beer sticker. I think that's from Paper Muse Crafts as well to mark that my boyfriend and I did a little Friday date night at a local brewery, which was just a great way to unwind after work on Friday. Um, then we watched some TV when we got home. So I used another TV icon from the Pretty Pink Co. And then on the quarter box at the very bottom that I had placed down, I used this little sleeping mask sticker from Simply Said Life to mark that I passed out on the couch um, that night before I could even make it up to bed because I was so tired and I had quite a few beers. So I ended up just passing out until my boyfriend woke me up and got me to go to bed. On Saturday, I actually decided to place down the full box first because I knew that's where I wanted it. I wanted it to cover that gray header. And then moving to the top, I used a foiled header with a three bow checklist to mark some things that I did that morning. Um, one of the things I did was get ready. So I used this makeup icon from Chasing Chels. And then in that white space, initially I placed down this foiled deco sticker. I think that's from Sadie Stickers. And this pool time screw up sticker, which is from Lexi Kylie Designs. I used that to mark going over to my friend's house she has a really nice pool in her backyard so um, it's just really nice when we get to hang out there however I decided to switch that up a little bit because I wanted to mark that we also got some Thai food delivered for lunch that day and it was so good and so memorable I wanted to include that the meal icon is from Samantha May Sticks and that order delivery script is from planner just for you I move that pull time sticker onto the full box and then I go ahead and place down some stickers for the remainder of the day just so I can figure out how much space I had to mark everything. And um, the gold foiled heart that I had just placed down, I believe that's from a shop called Boulder Bond and those are so cute. I layered it over a deco piece from the kit and on that half box, I wanted to mark that we did steak and sushi night. Um, so I found this really cute steak sticker, which I think is from Happy Sherpa Paper Wee, which I thought was so perfect to mark the occasion. I started Sunday by placing down a full box at the very bottom. I used a foiled header on top of that to cover up the gray header on my planner and then moved up to the beginning of the day. I started by placing down a foiled header with a quarter box and I used another sleeping mask sticker from Simply Said Life to mark that I had a lazy morning on Sunday. I then spent so much time customizing my home screen on my iPhone because that feature had just come out this week and I was so excited. I updated my iOS so that I could customize my screen and it literally took me, I'm not kidding, like six hours on and off. So it definitely was a huge time commitment, but I really love how it turned out. So I think it was worth it. I don't know. Um, the phone sticker is from the kit and then I did some puzzles afterwards. So I pulled in this new puzzle sticker that I got from Paper Muse Crafts. I then placed down a foiled header with a three bow checklist to mark some things that I did that day. And I wanted to use this really cute but large camera sticker that came with the kit, but I didn't really leave enough space for it. So I had to figure out how to get rid of where I had written plan with me um, because I ran out of white out. So initially I used this blank header that I got from Planner Just For You. I cut it up to cover up the text. Um, however, the color of that paper did not match the color of my recollections. And so I ended up lifting that up and cutting out a piece of recollections paper from a date that I wasn't going to be using and just gluing that onto my planner, which I found has been the best way to essentially white anything out on the recollections because I swear there's like no white out, no paper that matched this color. So the best thing to do is just use any spare paper that you have from this planner and just cut and glue it right over. Moving back to my sidebar, for this week, I decided to use these little gold foiled hearts from the Pretty Pink Co. to track my workouts. And I'm pretty sure I saw Rachel from Gathered Plans doing something similar. So that is where I got the inspiration. I think it turned out really pretty. And then I just go ahead and fill out the remainder of my happy moments and my dinners. Once I'm all done with that, I go ahead and show you guys all the stickers that I have left in this kit. Um, these will be included in a future leftovers giveaway. And then now I'm just doing a Viv Wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I pulled into this spread. I think it came out so beautiful. Light gold is definitely my favorite foil and I'm so glad that so many shops have started to offer it. I just think it's so much prettier than regular gold because regular gold can just be a bit too yellow sometimes if you know what I mean. Um, so anyways, I'm just giving you guys a walkthrough so you guys can see this 
spread a little more clearly. And yeah, that is pretty much it for my spread. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I definitely try to pull in some new stickers as well as some stickers that I haven't um, used in a while. So it's definitely always fun getting to do that. Please let me know what you guys think. And if you guys have any questions for me, um, just go ahead and leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed this. This was so much fun to put together and I hope you guys are taking care wherever you are and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.